In this video, I will show you how you can do a second order Taylor approximation for one variable and for two variable functions. Let's start with the general formula for one variable case. Okay, so let's assume we have the function f of x and we want to approximate this function around a. Okay, if we approximate this function around a, then we have the general formula that this is approximately equal to the sum up to n from a little n equals zero, and that will be the nth order Taylor approximation of f to the n at a, the point we chose here, over n factorial, so the product of all numbers from 1 up to the n we're looking at, times x minus a to the n. This is our general formula. Okay, let's apply this formula to a simple one variable function and see what happens. And let's take the function f of x is equal to 1 over x to keep it a bit interesting and we approximate that around a equals 1. Okay, to do a second order Taylor approximation we need the first and the second derivative. So let's take the first and second derivative of this function and then we can write down the approximation. So we have f prime of x is equal to, um, this is 1 over x, or x to the minus 1. So we take the minus 1 out and increase the um, exponent by 1. So I get minus 1 over x squared. Now I can take the second derivative of this expression and I will get f double prime of x will be equal to 2 over x to the power of 3. Right? The exponent here is minus 2, so it's minus x to the minus 2. Take the minus 2 out, so there's a positive sign here and the 2 up here, and we get x to the minus 3. Okay. So let's approximate this function. Then f of x is approximately equal to, well, we take the first n equals 0. This is the nth derivative. Given it's the nth derivative, it's a 0 derivative, so it's just the function value. So the first term is the function value itself at the point we want to approximate. So 1 over 1 is just 1. Okay, now the second term is the function, the first derivative of this function at point A over 1 factorial times x minus a to the power of 1. Well, okay, first derivative is minus 1 over x squared at point A equals 1. This is minus 1. Okay, so there's a negative sign here minus 1 over 1 factorial times x minus a is 1 to the power of 1. The 1's cancel and we're left with x minus 1. Now the second, so this is our first order Taylor approximation. Let's add the second order Taylor approximation. So we set little n equal to 2. If we do that, we get a third term. We look at the second derivative at point A. So the second derivative here at point A will be 1 to the power of 3 is 1. So it will be 2 over 1. So we're left at 2 over 2 factorial, which is again 2, times this term. So x minus 1 squared. The 2's cancel and we're left with 1 minus x minus 1 plus x minus 1 squared.
And that's our second order Taylor approximation for the one variable case. Okay, let's go to the two variable case. I'll leave this formula up here. We will still use this formula, but we will make some small changes, but we will choose some different function. Okay, assume you have the following function, f of x, y is equal to x times y squared. A relatively simple function. And you want to approximate this function at x equals a and y equals b. Note that we have now two variables, so we need to specify where we approximate this function for both variables. Okay, let's start with a first order Taylor approximation for this case. For the first order Taylor approximation, we need the first derivatives. We have two variables, so it will be two partial derivatives we look at. So let's start with fx. So the first derivative, partial derivative of f with respect to x, this will be just equal to y squared, and the partial derivative with respect to y will be 2xy. Hmm. Wait, this formula only has one term in it, but we have here two. Well, what we do in this case is, if you have more than one variable, you will have the sum across all partial derivatives. And what changes to the very right here is that you will have the value of what you took the derivative with respect to. Okay, so approximate this function, so we have f of x, y is approximately, first n is zero, so it's the function value at the points we approximate, so that's a times b squared. Now let's start with this partial derivative, plus, um, so the x term, so we would have this at point x equals a and y equals b, so we have b squared over it's the first derivative, so one factorial, times, it was with respect to x, x minus a. Now we can do the same thing with y. We've seen here, the first derivative with respect to y is equal to 2xy, so it will be 2ab, we get it here plus 2ab, again over 1 factorial, and this time it was with respect to y, so it will be here y minus b. And we have our first order Taylor approximation of this function. Now let's do the second order Taylor approximation of this function with two variables. So we need to look at the Hessian of this function, meaning for second order conditions. Okay, let's start with writing down three of them, because two are the same, so we only write down three. If we start with x, so we have the derivative with respect to x, and then again x, this derivative of y squared with respect to x, that's just zero, that's convenient. Then if we take derivative first with respect to x and then y, then we get 2y. If we take y twice, fy, y, we get 2x. Note that we also have fyx, but that's the same as fxy. You don't need to worry about that. Okay, so we can employ this formula again for each of these cases. So the first one is easy. The first one is respect to x twice, but that's just zero because this derivative is zero. If this term is zero, everything is zero. That was easy. The second term will be this one. Now this is more complicated because I have actually two terms. So either I add this term and then I add this term separately, or I just add it twice. So I have two times because they're both the same. Okay, so two times this second derivative here, 
we approximate at x equals a and y equals b. So it will be 2b over 2 factorial times, we took derivative with respect to x and y, so it's x minus a and y minus b. So we have both x minus a and y minus b here. Now we have one last term, which is the derivative with respect to y twice. Well, this term we only have once, and it's 2x. So we will have 2a, because x is equal to a at the point, over 2 factorial times y minus b squared, because we took the derivative with respect to y twice. Now we can simplify this a little bit because the twos cancel. So we have 2b here. Here we just have b squared. Here we just have 2ab. And down here we just have a times this term. And we have done a second order Taylor approximation of this function here. Thank you for watching.